Welcome to week one of the NFL preseason, where the rookies of today hope to become the stars of tomorrow. It's the Monarchs and the Thunderbirds, and it's all up next. Now, from the great state of Illinois, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the second city of Chicago. But tonight, we've got a preseason matchup between the London Monarchs taking on the Thunderbirds of Chicago. Charles Davis alongside me, and I'm Brandon Gordon. And, folks, the wait is over. Yes, it's just the preseason, but football is back in your living room. And I'm excited. I know you are as well. The summer heat feels good on these old bones, especially because we're not putting on pads. We don't have to be out there in that heat running into other people. But I'm glad these guys are. Football is back. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And let out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on a national stage like this. Really, his entire career, he's demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now here's a throw that's complete. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Operating from the gun. Gordon. It's complete. It's Gore. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And a nice little start as he's able to get this up to the 28. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. completion here as they fail to connect on third. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield equally good. And the 10-year bet knocks it through the goalpost and the opening drive of the game yields three. So it'll remain to be seen how many drives this unit gets in, this being the preseason, but here they start with three points. Yeah, I don't know that we'll actually see them anymore. They got three points on the board, one drive here in preseason in this game. Baseball caps, NFL approved, of course, for everyone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And a look here at the veteran under center, their seventh-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. 
He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. Looking to throw. Foley. He finds his man complete. That's Porter. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Operating from the gun. Foley. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Barry. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. On first down, Foley. Throw left side, complete. That's Harvey. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try option left. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. A great job there by this defense. They give up the long drive, but in the end, it looks like they'll force a field goal attempt. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. It's a 39-yard attempt, right hash. And his kick here is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on me, I know huh? you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the, serve? It, it, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. Thing. A little bit. I love it. Yeah. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that, wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Off play action. Gordon. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Jones running on first down, but finding it pretty tough going as he'll get forward for only about three there before he's taken down. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and seven. Off the play fake. Gordon. And that's caught at the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Well, he's certainly trying to earn his win to some more looks in the offense once the regular season heats up. If he continues to make plays like that, I think QB1 will look his way a little more often once the regular season begins. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And inside give to Jones. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down.
Operating from the gun. Gordon. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Operating from the gun. Gordon. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And his kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first-half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. To throw on second down. Foley. Wide open receiver complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 23 yards the pick up there. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Operating from the gun. Foley. Now into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. On first and 10, Gordon. He's got goal. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter down, it's our home team with possession as they've got it with a first and 10. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it and picking up a first down. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They'll set up a throw. And that one taken in by Lassley. 
They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. And this one is right through. And they continue to lead in the battle of field goals here. It's now 9-3. to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. London about set to take over on offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Inside the 20. And they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up. First and goal at the five. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. They'll try the left side. Porter, and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. On second down, it's Porter, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now this throw caught left side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made them pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Now throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. A 
second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle complete, it's Clark. Touchdown! A big play there. 66 yards. And the Monarchs strike quickly here to tie up the ball game. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, just one for five to this point. This is third down and 12. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. So they bring out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Pulled in at the 24. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. London about set to take over on offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. On third down. Porter. Powerful running. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A gain of 13 and also a first down. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10.
And off the option, he'll try and run with it. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They'll run here on third and goal. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And his kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Chicago offense set to get started. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. He'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. They'll look to throw now on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cook. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First week of the preseason, probably not the pass, the impression that the rookie <laughs> wants to leave right there. Yeah, no probably about it because that's not what you want to do to try and press your new coaching staff, try to impress your locker room, and most importantly, yourself. Probably spent all night last night saying, don't throw an interception early. Make sure you take care of the football. But now he's got it out of the way. Hopefully he can just settle in and move on. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That's complete to White. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this nowhere to go here he lost the football and this ball recovered by the offense but remember they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half so this will be blown dead and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble taken right around the 44.
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things. In any event, he's got to get it figured out and in a hurry. They'll throw now on the final play. He finds his man complete. It's Barry. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Back to you guys in just a minute as we've started the countdown to opening night. Remember, the preseason has shrunk from four games down to three. So just two more weeks of preseason action, follow this, and then we get it all started on the first Thursday after Labor Day. Okay, Coach, game. thanks as Most always. Most of the starters have made their cameo game and we departed, you back but for plenty of youngsters three. out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon And a decent return God. out to the 27-yard line. Now this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line can play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Trying to turn the corner, but he's going to be stopped right near the line of scrimmage. Third and four. He'll look to throw. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Taken in at the 22. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here, and sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a third and six. They'll set up to throw. one is down he goes and that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five well he was really focused downfield but there was really no viable options the coverage was too good and the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football the only place he ended up down on the ground they'll score that a 36 yard punt London about set to take over on offense and our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Porter, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. 
Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. And they'll find Lastly there. It's complete. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there. No return. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. They go play action here on first down. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On second down now, it's Porter. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a give right side. Clark. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second and two. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Looking to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, he's had success running the football on this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to... And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Now, that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, 
hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. This will be from 49 yards out. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They are down by a single possession here, 16-9, to nine, as they come up first and 10. Back to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. Well, his struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them, pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. Now a throw here, hold in. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And now the rookie's free. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll look to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Monarchs have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now up to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Here's a second and seven. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Boy, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. 
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown! A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Monarchs have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Point after try, forthcoming. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And certainly this, not the performance that they were hoping for to begin the exhibition season, but still plenty to watch for in this fourth quarter. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that one taken in by Lassley. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. From the 44-yard line here, second down at seven. Now back to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Only able to gain a couple there. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So the call there, roughing the passer. Well, the preseason's time for work it out the kinks, but sometimes you've got some defenders who are too eager to impress trying to make this team. And that time we saw one take a shot at the quarterback way too late. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and 10. Escaping the pressure right. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play. But in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A you know, fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. Not able to punch it in, and if you're on defense, your confidence is sky high because mentally you're saying, hey, you're in the red zone. We're thinking we're giving up three. We just want to give up six. In this case, they end up not giving up the touchdown at all. They've got to feel great about what they got done. Second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Porter. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 53 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Up the middle they go. It's Porter. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. the middle Porter and a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46 that one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks all runs on this drive so far it's first and 10 up the middle they go it's Clark and a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35 11 more on that one and another first down. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. He'll decide to keep this once more. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On second down, it's Porter. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Porter. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back, but how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. Here's second and three. Three. 
So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did Let's score in the second out. quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out so that'll do it for us for charles davis and all our crew i'm brandon gordon you've been watching the nfl on ea sports so long everybody are you looking for high quality simulation football action then look no further than the greatest gridiron our league consists of 32 relocated franchises from around the world. We are the World Games of Simulation Football, where teams from all over the globe will compete on the greatest of gridirons. Hone your skills as a player or a member of a franchise coaching staff. Compete yearly for our illustrious Global Bowl, awards, accolades, and bragging rights as you climb the ladder of success and greatness. Are you a pro or just an average Joe? The Greatest Gridiron is looking for dedicated and passionate people to help build a league that emphasizes on trust, loyalty, and respect. Look at you. What makes you so great? This is the Greatest Gridiron where you can't stop greatness. Take flight. Take flight.